You're watching Maryland's first television station. Now, WMAR 2 News. It's January 25th. I'm Randall Newsom, and these are some of your top stories. Well, after more than 150 years, Baltimore is one step closer to having full control of its own police force again. The state took over the Baltimore Police Department back in 1860. Mayor Scott signed bills that put it back into the city's charter and code, but bureaucratic hurdles mean the bills can't technically change anything yet. Only the Maryland General Assembly has the power to remove that line from the charter, officially giving control back to the city. And after that, it's up to the city voters to approve these changes on the 2024 ballot. And Mayor Brandon Scott also declared this month Purple January in Baltimore, and he's urging all of us to show our purple pride to cheer on the Ravens in their quest to win the coveted Lombardi Trophy. The mayor is also encouraging all city employees to wear purple this Friday for a big group photo at City Hall. And Fleet Week is sailing back into Baltimore. It's taking place June 12th through the 18th and bringing special service vessels, flyovers, and festivals back to Baltimore. Festivals this year are happening at the Inner Harbor, Fells Point, and the Martin State Airport. Each location will have live music, food, and exhibits throughout the weekend. They had me at food, Stevie. They had me at food. Yes, you signed me up for that as well. Uh, we're waking up to some fog out there this morning. That sticks around throughout the morning time frame. Heading into the afternoon, we do have those on and off light to moderate rain showers. So keep that rain jacket on throughout the day today. And it's also going to feel a lot warmer than yesterday. Get ready because we could be flirting with 60 degrees this afternoon closer to BWI. Unfortunately, those rain showers persist into the evening, so you will need that rain jacket or that umbrella if you're heading out the door for dinner this evening. Temperatures will drop into the low to mid 50s right around dinner time. Taking a look at your weather headlines, the 60s stick around throughout your day tomorrow and temps tumble this weekend.